ago we got news that someone has been taken to hospital with kidney failure and it seems likely that an airlift is uh, going, to, going to be needed. That comes on the back of the Liberal opposition's recent calls for further measures which are going to have no other effect than to hurt and damage people who are just asking us to help them. So we're here to call on Tanya Plibersek, who's the Health Minister, to use her public influence as a Cabinet member of the Gillard Government to speak out publicly to change the way that the government is treating asylum seekers and to actually put into action the uh, humanitarian values which she's very quick to appeal to but which she's so far done nothing to act. Only a few days later we got news that the first of the first families, families, were being transferred to Manus Island and Ronnie Cook, a local Manus Island MP, has said himself that it's terrible to do this to people. It's like putting them in jail. And those comments were echoed by the Nauru Foreign Minister, who also acknowledged the extreme difficulty, the unbearable nature of the conditions that asylum seekers have to face in those places. As if that wasn't enough, we've seen uh, the We've seen the proposal that asylum seekers who now can no longer be accommodated in detention will be left almost entirely to their own devices, released into the community without the right to work, with a humiliating and contemptuous pittance of money to live on. Hey Tanya, we're talking to you. Not Man Island, not Nauru. Hey Tanya, we're talking to you. Not Man Island, not Nauru. Hey Tanya, we're talking to you. Not Man Island, not Nauru.